Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video tutorial. In this one, we're going to explore a fascinating free plugin called Dynamo Multiplayer made by Bird Tools. Let's give some context on this tool. This is used Dynamo Multiplayer to run one or multiple Dynamo scripts on multiple Revit models. The models can be local or they can be on BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud. The task can be scheduled to run once a week, once a month, every day, or anything you choose. This way users can automate boring tasks while they are not working. Let's have a case study of how this can be used. Let's say that you have a client that manages 35 different office buildings in Revit. The project manager updates room information in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, the BIM manager is forced to manually transcribe the data from Excel to Revit and is bored <laughs> out of his mind doing this task. So plugins or Dynamo can be used. Uh, for example, you can use DRoots1, the sheet link tool to link, uh, grab information from Excel and push it to Revit. That can definitely be done, but still there are 35 office buildings and let's say they have to be executed uh, once a week. It's still a manual task to have to do all of this. So in this video, we're going to explore a workflow that allows you to batch and schedule this boring task. Uh, first, let's uh, see the kind of data we have. You can see on the left, an Excel spreadsheet that we'll be using in this tutorial and on the right, uh, a Revit room schedule. So basically we'll be taking the information from the Excel spreadsheet and pushing it to Revit. In this case, the project manager updates the comments parameter. And what the Dynamo script will do it is to match the room names together. So take the room name from Excel, try to see if they exist in Revit and the other way around, only to keep the rooms that are existing both in Revit and Excel and ignoring all the other rooms. Something very important in this case is that each Revit model has to have a different Excel file associated to it. And something unique about this workflow is that you must create a project information uh, parameter called Excel location. This contains the path of the Excel file. You place this into project information. It's a text-based parameter and it's the path to the Excel file. Now you can start to use uh, the bird tools, the Dynamo, Dynamo multiplayer free plugin. Uh, first, let's have a look at what the Dynamo script does exactly. It will extract the Excel location parameter from the Revit model only keep elements that are found both in Excel and Revit, push data from Excel to Revit to specific parameters, in this case, the comments field for the rooms. And then with the help of Bird Tools, you can run the script on 35 plus Revit models at the same time with this great Dynamo multiplayer. Uh, let's move to Revit and explore this workflow a little more. So you can see this is the room schedule. If we go to project information, you can see this Excel location uh, file and let's have a look at my Excel file. It's right here. You can see this is Excel and you can see some fields are different. For example, uh, Gina office, the comment says not Gina, please. And in Revit, this says nope, nope. So let's go to Dynamo and try to run the script to see if it properly works. So the way this Dynamo script works, it acquires the information from the project information and gets the Excel location file and converts um, this text to uh, acquire the Excel file, extract data from it. And this searches for the name of the room, both in Excel and Revit, and will push data to the comments parameter. All right, so let's try to run the script and see what happens. The run has started, it is complete. Let's move back here and you can see in Revit, the comments have been updated. And now for Gina office, it says not Gina, please. So it is the script that is running for one single model. Let's go to bird tools over here or um, uh, select the tool. Here you have to import your Revit model. So in this example, I have a few files that I've created uh, for this test called test one, test two, test number three, and each of these Revit models have a different Excel file associated to them. So again, you need one Excel file per model. Although in theory, you could also use the same file if you have rooms information that is contained in multiple models. Let's click open. 
And here you can see a few different options. If you are having central file, you have to use synchronized mode. Uh, in this case, we have to use brute force mode. It just means that it will override and save. So of course, when using tools like this, you have to be really careful to ensure that uh, your script will not do uh, too much. And now here, I already have uh, my script added to the queue. If not, you could click on add and find the correct path. And that's it. First, you can click on proceed if I do the test just to uh, see what it does. It will automatically open all of these Revit files and run the script on the background. Now, let's say that you want to do this task, let's say once a week to push the data from Excel to Revit without having to do this step over and over individually for each model. That would be extremely boring. What you can do is go here and click on a schedule. And then you can pick a time to start the day. Let's say that I want to start this Friday. And I pick a time where I'm not at the office anymore. So it doesn't uh, interrupt the work I'm doing. So let's say that it's at 6 p.m. So the only thing I have to do is to keep my computer open. But Revit will automatically open, run the task, and then close. Isn't that amazing? And here I can select, I can set this as a weekly task uh, to be repeated every Friday, for example. And I must give a name. So let's say, of course, this is a cool task. Click on OK. And that's it. And here I can click on this drop down menu, view the schedule runs. And I can see a couple of different runs. And the cool task is going to be run for the next time this Friday at 6 p.m. So this is a great way to take one Dynamo scripts and batch it to multiple Revit model and schedule it so you don't have to manually do it every time. Dynamo Multiplayer is a great free plugin that you can download on the Bird Tools website. I've included the link in the video description. You can download the Dynamo script showcase in this video tutorial, along with a free PDF guide all about Excel to Revit with Dynamo link. That's at revitpure.com slash Excel or use the link in the video description.